Alright, I'm gonna make this little kit here. This is my first YouTube video, so it's gonna be a lot to learn. I'm sorry for the loud fan, but I figured for this first video I'd use my homemade solder station. And uh, yeah, let's put a big ass fan on it. Kind of blows the solder smoke away and the uh, fumes from uh, what's it called? Flux and whatnot. And I've never used this kit before, so we'll go see what it's all about. And uh, let's see, what would be the best thing to solder first? I guess the small things. <laughs> Damn cat. <laughs> Like the uh, resistor. There's only one resistor, so it must be 10k. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. I bought these parts to make <coughs> to make the solder kit really cheap. It's a Heiko 936 knockoff plate and a soldering handle. And I had a transformer from a disassembled radio. Let's see, let's see if it's hot enough to melt solder yet. Which I actually had to turn the temperature or the voltage way down from the uh, transformer because I was thinking it needed to be about 24 volts but when I did that the soldering iron became red hot like glowing red so I turned it down to the lowest temperature that I could melt lead free solder with which ended up being about 17 volts that's what I got to set to now that's if I have the knob turned all the way down so obviously with the knob all the way down, it's gonna melt this lead and solder just fine. So it could have damaged this tip, being how red hot it was glowing three or four different times. But uh, yeah, I kind of made this solder kit, I mean, solder and iron just for desoldering and things like that, where I really didn't care about damaging it. So, and of course I forgot to bring my clippers in here, so I'm going to have to just leave the leads for now. Alright, let's see, what else is low profile? Well, they're all about the same, I guess. I don't know, we'll stick these connectors on the end of it. get them to stay in. Oh, just, nope. Of course they're gonna fall out. And of course the cat's gonna be tearing up stuff back here. I have three cats now. Kinda not planned. I have one cat. Oh, I pretty much my whole life I've had one cat. My great grandma, born in 1921, had never had a cat. So I ended up getting her two cats in January of 27, oh no, of 2018. And uh, a couple months back, she ended up having to go to a assisted living facility. And they didn't take pets, so because I got her the cats and I told her that if anything ever happened, you know, I would keep, take care of them. So now they're my cats. I have three. And unfortunately, my original cat, it's about two years old, absolutely hates them. Even a couple months later, 
She still hisses at him every day. Smacks at him. Must be a homemade solder iron. That don't look bad at all. I've probably been out of out of the camera lens the whole time. Sorry about that. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done YouTube before. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Capacitor. Stripe is negative. Long lead positive. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. Yeah, so far these solder joints are looking pretty good. To be, I think I invested like, I'd have to check my eBay buying history, but like five dollars for build your own kind of thing. But this is, uh, looks like the temperature's too hot. Yep, I might have to adjust that 17 volts for non-leaded solder because I have the temperature knob all the way down the way it's beading up on the end of the solder and iron tip tells me that temperature is too high. But anyway, for this video we'll make the... this means it'll be quicker soldering, I guess. Uh, yeah, it flows on there pretty good. I'm just going to leave these leads for now. Man, I didn't bring my knife either. Let's see, what else we got here? Should be two caps. Long leave positive. I'm sure my lighting isn't very good either. It's a three dollar little desk lamp I found at Goodwill. Yeah, this temperature is too high. But it'll do the job for now. I have a much better, I actually have about three different soldering irons or solder stations. I figured I'd give this one a go. Alright, all we have left is light emitting diodes, trim pot with three legs, and the actual chip. Okay, I'm seeing a problem. Damn Chinese kits. I don't see a foot pad on this board for a trim pot. Instead, I see a 100 ohm resistor. There is no more resistors. That's the 10 UF cap, so at least I put that in the right spot. Well, man, I should have measured the resistance with the ohm meter. I hope I stuck it in the right spot. And what is pin one on this chip? I have no idea. Alright, it's got a little edge right there, so I'm assuming that's pin one. If I'm not mistaken, this whole kit was like... If it wasn't 99 cent, it was 99 whatever currency Chinese use. So it ends up being like 76 cent US. Let's see, I don't have a good way to hold that. 
I just have to lay it down. Yeah, this tip isn't going to last long at all with that temperature. Way too hot. But I have a few more. One of them down on each end. Let's see, am I still in frame? Yep. I don't ever look at the camera, even though it's pretty much in my way. Alright, that didn't work at all. Yep. Damn it. And I did not get that level at all either. There we go. So yeah, this video wasn't thought out very well at all. Don't have the right tools for the job. Solder temperature is way too high. I can't easily adjust it. I have to open up the case that I have the, the transformer and the board mounted in. There we go. I'll check for solder bridges here in a second. Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm using an old Galaxy S4 phone to record this because I have absolutely no use for it. It's got a cracked screen. I gave this phone away to my mom and of course she drops it and cracked it. I've never cracked a screen myself. And uh, the battery life is absolutely horrible. It like dies. You can just unplug it from a charger. Wait a minute, there's stuff left in the bag. Another di okay. Snooze mistake. The battery dies like without doing anything. It lasts for a day. Well, you unplug it from a charger and a day later, it's down to like 30% battery. Not doing absolutely nothing. And that's with airplane mode on. Airplane mode on except for Wi-Fi turned back on. So yeah, doing nothing and the battery's just dead. I figured this first video I would use this phone to see how it does. So I actually have a Galaxy S5 with no use at the moment either. And if that doesn't do too good, I might use the Galaxy S7 that I have. So, yeah, the first video here is kind of... Worst case scenario with my worst phone, my apparently worst solder station. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a learning process, learn as I go. Yeah, this is absolutely horrible. Way too high temperature, the solder is just beading right off of the tip which is going to kill the tip in no time flat. Man, they don't even want to stick to that. Okay, that's probably not a very good solder joint there. And apparently, focus doesn't do too good. It wants to focus on the cutting board but if I continue to make videos things will definitely get better okay I don't know what I'm doing it says R3 10k got three legs and this is a potentiometer or veritable resistor so obviously that's where it goes 
Huh. It's got some weird foot pads, though. It's not going to be flush with the board at all. kind of sucks. Let's see how I can clamp on that, if at all. Uh, it's not very good. Oh, man. Yeah, I need to find some kind of putty that I've seen some other YouTubers use. It's not going to lay flat at all. Uh, if I can get this one leg on there. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Two more to go. Looking good. And this leaves the LEDs. Let's see. Now, if I can remember, it's long leaf positive. Yep, the cathode is negative. Caps are short and negative. So. All of them screen. The last one says red on the board. So, go ahead and get them all in place. Huh, give me an extra green. Found me. So, it's everything. That is the tallest component. So I don't really. If I can just get it to sit still. All right. Start on this end. I can just get one of each leg for now. Yep, everything's sitting flush. All right. Just five more solder joints to go and this is done. Last one. Alright. Doesn't look like anything's touching. Go ahead and put some solder on the tip, even though it's, yeah, it's still too hot to even sit on there, right? I turned the heat off. The fan comes on as soon as I plug it in. I like to keep the tip tinned when I leave it sitting. I gotta wait on the temperature to drop. So 17 volts is way too much for unleaded solder. And that's with the temperature knob all the way down. I wanted to have it so when the temperature knob was all the way down, it could melt solder. And then whenever you needed higher temperature, you know, turn it up. For, like, bigger pads and stuff. Alright, it's doing a little better. I 
I want the tip to, yeah, that's more like it. Take the solder instead of it just straight up beat up. So when I leave it sitting in the holster, it's got a layer of protection on it. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, I'm going to pause this video, and when I come back, all the leaves are magically clipped off. Alright, so I'm going to go give this a test. It's a VU meter, by the way. I guess I never said that. Two audio pins, and a VCC, which I'll have to look at the listing, or look up the chip, and uh, find out how much voltage but all right thank you for watching maybe I'll add on to this video of it working maybe not who knows take care